There you go. Members, this amendment seeks to get rid of what I've kind of nicknamed the advisory death panel. Okay, in 2015, the Palliative Care Interdisciplinary Advisory Council was established by HB 1874. Representative Stickland, for what purpose? <laughs> Here, recognize Representative Kang. An amendment to HB 1874 required patient advocates be appointed to the panel to ensure adequate representation of patient concerns. The panel is required to publish a report biannually, and to date, has published one report. When the program was established, an initial earmark through a writer allocated 142000 and 135000 for fiscal years 16 and 17, respectively, to help establish the program through the HHS system support funds. Since the program is relatively new and is yet to be eligible for sunset review, depending on the program needs and the broader needs of HHS, earmarks should not be assumed for a new untested program. To the point, although a patient advocate category was established for the council with the goal of ensuring that the concerns of patients and their families were adequately addressed, no one in the state maintained list of patient advocates has been appointed. I mean, really, no one, okay? No one's been appointed. The list is online. HSS should have the discretion to appropriate funding as needed to the council with their ability, rather than being locked into the original amounts set aside for the purpose of establishing the council. Instead, now the council is severely imbalanced, consisting of almost entirely medical professionals and few, if any, speaking for the patients. What this really is, this is a blue ribbon committee for the death panel commission. And we don't need it. Representative Stickland. Move adoption. Representative Collier. For what purpose? Mr. Speaker, will he yield for a question? Will the gentleman yield? Will the gentleman yield? Yes. Okay, I was just reading over your amendment, and I just want to make sure that I understand how much, how much money is currently being uh, allotted for border security right now. Do, are you aware? Um, I'm not sure. We're on page 176. This has nothing to do with border security. I, I just want to make sure. I just want to know, um, did DPS already ask for a certain amount for border security? Is that right? This amendment has nothing to do with border security. Well, it says, okay, for DPS. We're on 176. You're looking 176? at 174. Okay. And so what is, the, what is your amendment doing here? This Please confine your remarks to the amendment. Okay. This amendment, is, is this money taking money from Health and Human Services? No, ma'am, we're getting rid of a bureaucracy. Oh, okay. You know what? I think that uh, I'm going to yield to Dr. Zerwas so he can, he can ask you a few more questions. Dr. Zerwas, for what purpose? Yeah, the gentleman yield for questions. The gentleman yield. I will for a gentleman question. Gentleman yields. <laughs> uh, Mr. Kane, you made a, a passing comment at the end of your layout that something regarding a death panel? Did I hear you say that correctly? Absolutely, sir. Okay, Similar would you to please describe existed. for me what a death panel is? Mr. Zeros, respectfully, if you ask me a question, please allow me to answer it before asking me a second one. Explain to me what a death panel is, Mr. Kane. Can I just start with that question? Y yes, Mr. Zeros. A death panel is whereby uh, a group of individuals unrelated to the uh, person in the hospital decide whether or not that person should live or die, making decisions for someone uh, in place of their own or Have their family. Have you ever understood really what palliative care is? Can you tell me what the definition of that is? Mr. Zerwas, being your profession, I'm sure you could inform this body better than I could. I'm asking you because it's your, your, it's your amendment. Tell me what you think it is. Mr. Zerwas, the purpose of this has to do with a panel for palliative care, which in my understanding of it is essentially a blue ribbon committee that looks at death panels, sir. So you're unaware of the, the fact that a report has been generated on this subject. Is that a correct? Um, th that's a fair statement, Mr. Zerowas. And are you unaware, are you aware that there is actually a, I believe, a sunset on this particular committee? For once, they, once they've done their work, it's over? Are you unaware of that? I'm unaware. Okay. Um, 
Are, do you have an understanding of what end-of-life circumstances are and the role of palliative care in terms of end-of-life? I will tell you there are many of us here who can attest to that and the importance of that and the role that palliative care plays in that. Are you aware of that? Mr. Zeroas, would you like to, me, to ask me a question about this panel? The panel is dealing with palliative care. Can you, are you not aware of what that does? You're portraying it as a death panel. And so and I think that is one of the most mischaracterizations I have heard in over 10 years that I've been serving in this house. So if you want to go up there and characterize something in such an offensive way, I would hope that you would have a little better understanding of what you're talking about. Dr. Zerwas, how should I define a committee of individuals deciding the life of another? No, I think you have totally mischaracterized that. I think what the, you, have, you have in this panel is the intent to create a greater awareness about an emerging discipline in the practice of medicine that deals with palliative care. And I will tell you, you can probably ask, you know, you know, 50, 60, 70, 100 members in this house who have had somebody with a serious illness that has dealt with this particular issue. And there is simply the effort to try to bring greater awareness around palliative care. Yes, doctor. I recognize that you know about this and that I don't. Thank you. My apologies. Move adoption. Chair recognizes Representative Davis in opposition. Move to table. Chair recognizes Representative Kane to close. I don't need to close. Representative Kane sends up an amendment. Representative Davis moves the table. The amendment is withdrawn.